Greetings and salutation, individuals and investors. My name is Sanford Khan. Welcome to Rogue Economics. I'm a business author and economic consultant. What I'd like to talk about in this short video is a topic that uh, really fits today's economy and probably will for the next few years. And the title is, How Will Politicians Act During Maddening Economic Times? The person I'm going to quote is an expert on this. He studied history, economic history, going back centuries. His name is Harry Dett. I have a lot of respect for his intelligence and judgment. So I'd like to quote him directly. So excuse me if I'm looking down because I have to get the quote exact. Mr. Dent said it best. In times of prolonged economic stress, politicians and, politicians and central bankers won't bite the bullet. They won't accept short-term pain in return for long-term gains. Instead, they will work to protect special interest groups and government budgets. <laughs> government budgets, of course. Uh, that's me speaking. Then, uh, where was I? The special interest in government budgets in the name of keeping people working and stopping any social unrest. Does sound familiar? Taxes will rise, not fall. And business regulations will increase, not drop. End of quote. How do you think the economy will fare if taxes rise and regulation rise? The government will be su sucking money out of the economy. What do you think is going to happen to the stock market? What do you think is going to happen to employment? It's not good. It doesn't have to be this way. It really doesn't. There is another path that we could go down that offers hope and opportunity to everybody. And this is something that I'd like to explore in another presentation. But the path of least resistance for politicians of any party is to raise taxes, same old, same old, more regulations, more government interference, and the economy suffers, employment suffers, and opportunities decline. Like I said, it doesn't have to be this way. There is another road we could take, but it, it requires a different mindset. It requires, as I call this series, Rogue Economics. you got to think outside the box, way outside the box. Until next time, good luck. And remember, in today's economic environment, liquidity is king, not Elvis. Take care now, folks.